But before we get the show started, I thought I'd play a really funny clip that happened over the weekend. Something to kind of, you know, loosen the old, um, what you call it, the old mood, considering everything else going on in the world. So this is a wonderful video that I'm sure most of you guys have probably seen already, but let's play it. I don't know if you just heard the ending of that interview, or <laughs> part of that interview by Kalechi. Oh, and what yeah, he said yeah. to you, what he said to you was, there's no spinning this one. There's no spinning this one. I know you always try to be positive, but there is no <laughs> spinning this one. That was an embarrassing <coughs> defeat to a team that's down the bottom, struggling to stay in the division. I know teams down there, they'll be fighting for their lives. You know what I love about Ty on Arsenal Fan TV? They always try and, whenever Arsenal lose, right, in a really embarrassing fashion, they always try their best to like, um, or especially Robbie, he tries to like coax tie into like a you know one of the typical dt or uh, what's his face you know those, those kind of typical shouty responses and he never gets into it he's always just like i'm gonna support the team he actually he kind of does his, he kind of does his fan cams like a manager you know well you know we came to the ground we tried to play our stuff the boys did well they put their best foot forward he tries to do that whole like you know um monotone sort of like you know sitting on the fence reply and then he's going to get back into the room and tear them a new one. But you're not the coach, mate. You know what I mean? You're just a player. You're just a fan. <laughs> he never bites. That, he never bites. That is embarrassing. Well, Robbie, Spin I it for me. If you try and... Oh, well, which way? If I could do a couple of things first. If I could do this. <coughs> say Black Lives Matter. I'd say thank you to Nature's. <laughs> <Mo> <laughs> I swear, man, this kid definitely gets or this sorry, this man definitely gets dropped off at work, man. Like he's something else. In case you just you're not <laughs> watching the video. He this is a fan cam after Arsenal lost, right? A fan cam essentially where they interview fans after the game, get their views and opinions. And he used his time to not to number one first kneel, right? Um and do the whole Black Lives Matter fist up in the air, right? I'm I'm not sure if he's gonna do that for every game or if it's just like a thing, but regardless. And then the next bit is a moth is the funniest bit of the whole interaction. Popo, you are an absolute disgrace. You're a cheat. I hope Brighton get relegated. <laughs> Don't blame it on Mope. Mope. Don't blame it on You're a cheat. You're a disgrace. I hope Brighton, Brighton get relegated. My no, party is a cheat. He's, he's so angry, he can't even get his words out. You know what the funny thing about it is that it's obviously, you know, it's laugh funny to laugh about it. And Arsenal fans are just a cute gifts the gift that keeps on giving. But if you actually watch the game, the Mope challenge on Burn Leno isn't even that bad. It's a bit of a nothing challenge, right? The ball goes over the top, it sort of bounces heavy, or it sort of bounces twice up in the air. Um it's the sort of ball where like the striker thinks he can get it. And the goalkeeper thinks they can catch it before it kind of, you know, leaves the area, leaves the box. Um, he jumps up to go get it. He doesn't know where he's, you know, he doesn't have good spatial awareness in that regard. Mopey sort of leans into him. And as he's falling down, he's knee his way and he buckles underneath it, right? It's a, it's a, don't get me wrong, it's a bitch of an injury. He's going to be, it's going to be one of those niggling injuries, you know, to do with ligaments that's going to, you know, put you out for an annoying period of time. It's the sort of thing that you think, you know, ligaments are those weird things where, when you injure them, you then remember, you, it's a stark reminder as to how often you use your ligaments, right? Even in movements that don't essentially, are not that obvious to the naked eye, right? So it takes some time to actually get it back to where it needs to get to. But you have to be a lot really patient with the rehab. So don't get me wrong, it's annoying, you know, and Leno is an important player for Arsenal now, you know, with Arsenal being as shit as they are, they're best, same level what United went through, right? When we were going through our shit period, our best player was David De Gea. So they're going through the same thing too. Ben Leno's their guy, their main, you know, their quote unquote talisman, which is fucking nuts to say. But he's their Lord and Savior, isn't he? He actually, you know, saved, he secures them points or gives them a platform to try and draw and win games. So I get the hysteria, but let's be, let's chill out a little bit. This isn't, you know, this isn't Pogatet some fucking Rodrigo Possible. Do you know what I mean? This is just like an innocuous push in the back and he accidentally, you know, he kind of like, you know, landed wrong. And that was it, basically. And then in typical Arsenal fashion, they implode. They let it get to their heads. Mopey rattles them. Um, Brighton end up equalising. And then guess what? Right at the death, the guy, the man, the moment, Mope ends up scoring a really well-taken goal to win the game. In typical Arsenal fashion. And then you got someone like this, right? One of their fans just absolutely going in on Mope. Like, just mad as hell. 
Mopai is, is a so cheat. Gonna, no, no, Mopai, no, no, no. you are a cheat. You are a cheat. And I, like I said again, Mopai, you are a cheat. Come to our dressing room and tell, say, say what you said about our players. Come to our dressing room if you're brave enough. You're a cheat. Mopai, you are a cheat. And I hope Brian get relegated. Imagine, imagine Mopé getting offered out by Ty and feeling intimidated. What would you think of this, right? It's just, and again, it just adds more fuel to the fire, right? I'm sure other fans, no, not other fans, I'm sure other players from rival teams are going to be watching these things that go viral on social and they're going to be really amped up to try and, you know, essentially turn over Arsenal so they can elicit the same response. And that's what they're going to want to do. If it wasn't already obvious before how people enjoy, you know, may not suffer the same thing. We have teams turning up, like, you know, West Ham's a good example. West Ham get rolled over a week in, week out, and suddenly whenever May Night comes to town, they all turn into fucking, you know, uh, Brazil in the 70s. It's fucking annoying. But it is what it is. What can you do? Um, it's just funny, man. Like, you never see Ty reacting like this after the game, like, in response to how badly Arsenal played. It's always to do with other people. The wind, the grass was too long. The pl- he's just, uh, he's, he's insane, man. He literally is insane. <laughs> This is the problem, yeah? He's no, no, problem. no, hold, hold on, let me say, this is the problem, yeah? You're trying to deflect the blame no, away. No, 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 I'm not deflecting What, what should have happened to Mope? Should he have been... He should have got a red card. He should have got a red card. card. A red on, card. Don't be... No, but don't be ridiculous. Talking, but the way he's that talking... Was, no, wait a minute. Was that, be honest now. But I want you to be 100% honest. It's like a little child, look at him. You're saying that Mope should Mope, have got a red... You're a cheat. You're a cheat, Mope. I'll try and get relegated. Yo, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I love fan channels, man. You can't get this type of entertainment anywhere else, honestly. It's the best. They have their, you know, don't get me wrong. Fan channels have their, um, they have their moments where they can get a bit OTT. Essentially, Arsenal fan TV, you know, probably responsible for Arsenal getting sacked ahead of time prematurely, maybe rightly or wrongly. But you know, now looking back at it, Arsenal wasn't that bad, was he? But all in all, they do give actual fans a voice, and it's cool to see that. But some of the characters they have on this channel, man, it's just out, out of this world. And Ty is one of my favorites, actually, even above, even more so than you know the other mainstays. I love Ty because just whenever you think they can, he, whenever you think he can't get more deluded, whenever you think he can't spin something a little bit more, he just surprises you. And that was a big surprise. But yeah, big up Ty, man, from Master Fan TV. You are a legend, sir, a legend.